We drove one hour and 50 minutes to Zagreb to pick up my lost luggage, then one hour and 45 minutes to Plitvis Lakes National Park. We stayed at Hotel Miriana Rastok. We arrived at the spectacular Plitvis Lakes National Park, and if you're visiting Croatia, this place should be at the top of your to-do list. When we arrived, the buses and boats were done running for the season, but the wooden boardwalks made it easy to wander through the lakes, streams, and rumbling waterfalls. The 73,000 acres of wooded hills enclose 16 turquoise lakes, which are connected by a series of waterfalls. The water flows over the limestone and chalk, depositing barriers and creating dams, which have created the beautiful lakes, caves, and waterfalls. And we kept an eye out for the park's bears, lynx, wolves, and many bird species. The forests of beech, hornbeam, and ash had lost their leaves for the season, but the beautiful ice formations around the waterfalls added a different kind of beauty. And the fir and spruce still added color to the surrounding landscape. Another bonus to coming here in March was the lack of tourists. We only saw a few other people and we had almost the whole place to ourselves. End of the hike. leave for split, a two and a half hour drive through small towns, mountains, and along the Adriatic Sea. found a really nice hotel just outside of Split. The food here was excellent. The re 
Riva Promenade. Split's unique setting and exuberant nature make it one of the most delectable cities in Europe. The second largest city in Croatia, Split is a mix of modern life and ancient history. It's a great place to see Dalmatian life, Roman ruins and medieval churches, along with trendy shops and stylish bars. Diocletian's Palace is an ancient palace built for the Roman Emperor Diocletian at the turn of the 4th century AD. It's a massive structure and forms about half the old town of Split. To that where their backpack is? Yeah. The Cathedral of St. Dominus. We spent most of our time wandering through the old city on the narrow cobbled streets, watching the locals and marveling at the beautiful architecture and Roman monuments. The dramatic coastal mountains are the perfect backdrop to the turquoise waters of the Adriatic Sea. We're leaving Split on the way to Dubrovnik. 